Hey everyone, I'm Varun, the founder and CEO at Hammer Missions, and welcome to today's episode of Knowledge Hub. In today's episode, we're going to discuss the main difference between global mechanical shutters and rolling electronic shutters, which can be found on modern commercial drones, and also help you understand which applications they are best suited for. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to our channel, and if you're watching this on YouTube, click the alert notification. With every new computing platform, a wave of new applications are enabled. Mainframe computers enabled scientific computing, desktop computers enabled personal computing, and smartphones continue to enable computing on the go. The same could be said for the drone industry, where flying computers and sensors have started to enable a number of different applications. Anything from asset inspections, search and rescue, to site mapping and 3D modeling, the possibilities are endless and continue to grow with every passing day. In order for you to get the best results in these applications, it's important to choose the right hardware for the right job. So let's start with understanding the hardware. In particular, let's try and understand camera shutters. Before we get into global and rolling shutters, we will first discuss camera shutters in a bit more detail. According to Wikipedia, in photography, a shutter is a device which allows light to pass through a determined period, exposing photographic film or a photosensitive digital sensor to light in order to capture a permanent image of a screen. Basically, you can think of shutters as like light policemen responsible for letting light through a camera sensor. Now let's move on and have a look at the difference between global and rolling shutters. We'll start by looking at global mechanical shutters. A global mechanical shutter, as the name implies, is a mechanical part of the camera that opens and closes at a predefined shutter speed. Global shutters ensure that each image on the image sensor is exposed to the light exactly at the same time. As a result, global shutters can be used to capture fast-moving objects in a scene, since all pixels on the camera are exposed to the light exactly at the same time. Additionally, this applies if the scene is static and the camera moves instead. Little hint, this is what happens when a camera is mounted on drones. As you may know, many drone applications require the drone to capture images while moving. Photogrammetry, for instance. Global mechanical shutters tend to perform better for these applications. Now, let's have a look at rolling electronic shutters. A rolling electronic shutter, on the other hand, is a non-mechanical, that is, electronic shutter, which exposes pixels on the image sensor in a line-by-line -line order. This means that a rolling shutter is not as good at capturing fast-moving subjects or being used on a moving platform such as a commercial drone. However, since a rolling shutter is typically electronic, that is non-mechanical in nature, they have less chances of mechanical failure. A simple solution to using rolling shutters in drone applications is to make the drone stop before taking images or pictures. This can be easily achieved with Hammer Mission's inspection modes. So in summary, cameras with rolling shutters and global shutters are both useful for drone applications, but it's important to know the difference between them so that you know when to use which one. In the next, in the next screen, we will illustrate the main differences between global and rolling shutters. So here you can see the difference between global and mechanical shutters. It's important to mention that your choice of drone platforms should not be singularly based on whether or not the platform supports a global mechanical shutter. The DJI Mavic series, for instance, does not support a global mechanical shutter, but it incorporates a foldable body design, making it a lot more portable than its phantom cousins. As with any drone applications, it's important to take the full picture into account your goals and objectives before deciding on investing in a drone platform. If you would like to learn more about how to collect quality data with different drone platforms and to get the most out of your drone missions, please feel free to visit our learning resources. So that's it for today's video. We hope you have a better understanding of the difference between global and rolling shutters on commercial drone cameras and when to use one over the other. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comment section and we will get back to you. Until then, we'll see you in the next video.